Hello everyone and welcome back to SWE's Fade to Black. In this one, we have got Malachi Black going one-on-one -on -one against Lance Archer. Another match that I think if would happen in real life would be an absolute cracker. I mean, in all fairness, that would be really, really good. I think it's a sort of thing that, um, that Archer needs right now as well. I mean... He has been put over quite well over the last couple of years, but he's still lacking that one big feud. And um, at the moment, of course, he seems to be um, down as a face. And this could be a great opportunity for him. I do think he'll turn heel again pretty soon, to be honest with you. Especially if Brian Cage is going to turn face, which it looks like is going to be a possibility at the moment. Um, so yeah, with Brian Cage turning face, then I feel like uh, Lance Archer um, going back, he'll be pretty good. But I feel like a feud against uh, Black, I mean Black just coming in, um, Lance Archer needs something to put all of his aggression into. And I feel like this will be a win-win for both of them, no matter who comes out on top in the final match. I think the feud will be great for elevating the pair of them um, up to the next level in AEW. Although the problem they've got at the moment is, I think we all can see at this point in time that Hangman Page will become the AEW champion at the next big pay-per-view All Out. And uh, Miro is going to be the tricky one because he has been really booked as an absolute dominant beast. And it'll be interesting to see who's going to step up against him to fight for that TNT championship. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tricky one, whether it be Cody or whether it be maybe one of the members of the Inner Circle... Whether it be possibly even Jungle Boy, Christian maybe. I, I don't know. It's tricky to really see who's going to go after Miro. I mean, they brought in Malachi Black and Andrade recently, both as heels. There is still a lot of heavy rumors about potentially uh, Brian Danielson or Daniel Bryan joining at some point. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But, I mean, it could be another opportunity for Lance Archer. Maybe Archer goes up against Miro again for the next pay-per-view. Oh god, that was loud all of a sudden. So what happened there? My speakers went all out there for a second. There we go. I've turned him down now. Malachi Black now with the arm breaker. Black so far looking pretty good today. Of course, this is a, a great opportunity for him to really show what he can do. And we'll do the same thing as this tomorrow as we will have SWE's El Idolo when we will be um, doing the exact same thing but with Andrade. Pin attempt there by Black now brings Archer back up to a standing base. And I think he was trying to grab a hold of him there to hit him with the knee strike in the face. But Archer was able to avoid. Archer now slamming the head of uh, Malachi Black into that top turnbuckle pad. Big knee in the gut and then spinning strikes. And this is exactly what Malachi needs to do. He needs to hit those strikes. Um, but uh, Lance Archer there throwing Malachi over his shoulder before now dropping down with the boots right into the chest. Malachi Black now drags Archer across and dumps him to the outside. Is he going to try and win this by count out here? Seems that way. It's an optimistic way to win this one, but could work. Nope, he sees Archer get back up to his feet and decides to continue the assault. And I tell you, he could still win by count out. You need to beat down Archer enough to keep him down on the outside. Archer now, big elbow in the gut. And Archer slides back into the ring and Malachi Black follows, but Archer was ready for him, picks him up and slams him down. Malachi Black though fighting back with the roll through. Black now with that boot. It's what he's so good at, just hitting those strikes. Big double foot stomp into the gut. And there is that fate to Black, the kick right in the face, out of nowhere. 
And that is enough for once again Malachi to pick up another win. He's having a storming day, is old Malachi. Where's that put him now? Because he was already up into 17th. We'll give him another point, which is going to move him up into 10th. Wow. And Lance Archer, who was actually up in 5th position, is now going to stay in 5th position. Although he's lost a point. Black moves up into 11th now. Joint... Uh, where is he? Joint 8th with The Undertaker, The Rock, and Nikolai Volkov, who I do owe something big to Volkov, of course, because I screwed him over. He was supposed to have a European Championship match, and I gave it to the wrong person. I might throw it on the end of here. I might give him the opportunity. Anyway, well done, Malachi, once again. Uh, well, that's the end of the, the, the top five AEW feuds. We do have uh, one more special one coming up, uh, an honourable mention in uh, about an hour or so time. So I'll see you again for that one. I hope you've enjoyed. Good night. God bless. Alvida Sain. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.